Hiya kids, it's the thrift store and down for we with Hollywood home on a budget. You know, if you give a child a couple of pieces of spinach, chances are he might take one, maybe two bites, and that's if you're extremely lucky, while the rest gets tossed in the waste basket. Hey, at least you tried. If you teach a child how to cook spinach, and help him to flavor it all his own, well then he'll be cleaning his plate, and you will be the super parent of the neighborhood. This back to school season, recognize that it will be even more vastly different than the last because of, yes, the lingering effects of COVID-19 and of course those ever so controversial mask mandates being imposed in schools nationwide. TSR is utilizing the full resources of the Children's Quarter Division to make the impending back to school dilemmas a little more deliciously bearable. Presenting Kids in the Food Hall! A new miniseries designed to help get kids motivated about helping out in the kitchen creating nutritious and delicious meals for breakfast, lunch, after school snacks, dinners, and desserts. Safely, and of course, stylishly, and of course, on the cheap. Always. Here we have here eight kids cookbooks and one cookie magazine with a three kids mini bag inside. I'll just categorize this as one cookbook for the sake of time. So, nine cookbooks in total. And we start with Paula Deen's pair of kids' cookbooks. My first cookbook, and one for the Lunchbox set. We also have Hannah Montana's Sweet Niblets. Rockin' food for any meal. You know, Hannah Montana, a.k.a. Miley Stort, a.k.a. Miley Cyrus. Multiple alter egos, one missing. To help kids walk out with confidence in the kitchen. Just for a fun change of pace, we also have Strawberry Shortcake's Berry Yummy Cookbook and American Girl Cooking in Partnership with William Sonoma. Just because it felt right on both counts. Recipes for delicious snacks, meals, and more. If that doesn't work, well then we're gonna bring out the big time bubble guns. Food Network and America's Test Kitchen. We have here Food Network Magazine, fitting me from September 18th. That would be four years old. And of course, it has a free kids mini mag inside with recipes from some fave Food Network stars. One of them being from the 1990s. Now, today's kids wouldn't recognize or even care about this star, but I'll give you a hint. She was from Saved by the Bell and later seasons of Beverly Hills 90210. Oh yeah. 90s kids will definitely care and recognize her. And speaking of 90s kids, Kid 90 named the first ever best streaming documentary by the Hollywood Critics Association in their inaugural television awards, awarded in a virtual ceremony this past Monday. I have a major crush on Soleil Moon Fry, and yeah, she was technically an 80s kid, you know, punky booster. And yeah, I went this far, but all for good reason. She is now, literally, the gold standard. There's another 1990s head turner that's contributing a cookbook here, and that would be Buffy the Vampire Slayer, aka Sam Michelle Gellar, who along with Gia Russo co-authored Stirring Up Fun with Food, over 115 simple, delicious ways to be creative in the kitchen. Oh, and let's not forget America's Test Kitchen and their complete baking book for young chefs. 100 plus sweet and savory recipes that you'll love to bake, share, and eat. That is their sequel to The Complete Cookbook for Young Chefs, which got me some Twitter love from the executive editor of ATK Kids, Molly Bonbaum. That cookbook I reviewed a while back as part of my first back to school series here, Too Too Cool for School Week. Finally, this is more of a parent-oriented cookbook than anything else, but nevertheless, it's the family dinner, and it'll be the last cookbook seen in the series. Great ways to connect with your kids, one meal at a time. It's by Lori David, producer of the Academy Award winning documentary, An Inconvenient Truth. Yes, that inconvenient truth. Speaking of inconvenient truth, parents, if you thought it was a pipe dream to get kids excited about creating nutritious and delicious meals for the upcoming back to school season, well, has the theme song to the inconvenient truth also Oscar winning, would suggest you need to wake up and starting Monday, September 13th at noon Eastern Standard Time 
which fittingly is also National Kids Takeover the Kitchen Day according to the National Day Calendar. TSR is going to be giving you some much needed, not to mention fun, and scrumptious wake up calls throughout the entire week. Nine cookbooks, eight videos, one entire week of nutritious scrumptiousness for starving students young and old. But here, yeah, mostly young and of course, young at heart. So make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when any of these reviews get posted. And we all know those school bells can be ever so annoying. Either they're classic standard or they're equally bland monotone like my schools, School 2 and International High School. But believe you me, the YouTube notification bell for TSR is a bell you'll definitely want to be tuned into so that your kids can be stoked about spending some time in the food hall. Thanks for watching, and I will see you Monday, September 13th at noon, which is the standard lunch hour for most schools and homes across the country, on the thrift side! Yeah!